101 Dalmatians. Once there were two Dalmatians named Pongo and Pedita. A Dalmatian is a white dog with black spots on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They lived in a snug little house in London. Their pets, Anita and Roger Radcliffe, lived with them. See, the dog, the dogs think that the grown-ups are the dog's pets. And the parents think that the dogs are the parents' pets. Nanny, the housekeeper, took care of them all. One day, Pongo got some wonderful news. Perdita was going to have puppies. Everyone was happy. At last, the big day arrived. The puppies are here, Nanny cried. How many? asked Roger. Eight, Nanny replied. No, shouted Anita from the other room. Eleven. Wait, fifteen. Fifteen puppies. Perdita was very proud. Pongo, you old rascal, said Roger. He thought the puppies were wonderful. They'll get their spots when they're a little bigger, Nanny told him. Suddenly there was a clap of thunder. <coughs> In swept Anita's old friend, Cruella de Vil. Her long fur coat trailed behind her. I see the puppies are here at last, she said. I'll buy them all. They're not for sale, replied Roger. You'll be sorry, Cruella snapped as she stormed off. Pongo and Perdita were happy to see her leave. But Cruella wasn't finished. They can't stop me, she cackled. Cruella hired Horace and Jasper Badham to steal the puppies. And as soon as you have a chance, sneak into their house and grab those puppies, she told them. You must wait until the puppies get their spots, she added. <laughs> but then they'll all be mine. Each day the puppies grew bigger. And each day they got more spots. The puppies liked watching television. The show they liked the most was about a dog named Thunderbolt. Go get a Thunderbolt, shouted Penny. Time for bed, Pongo said when the show ended. Aw, oh, Dad, we're not sleepy, said Lucky. After the puppies went to bed, Pongo and Perdita went to the park. They took Roger and Anita with them. But as soon as they went out, Horace and Jasper went in. Horace and Jasper are the bad guys, huh? Jasper locked Nanny in the attic. Horace put all the puppies into a big sack. They took all 15 puppies. When Roger and Anita returned, Nanny told them what happened. Roger called the police. But the police couldn't find the puppies. Perdita and Pongo were very upset. Then Pongo had an idea. Let's try the twilight bark, he said. It's our only hope. All right, agreed Perdita. Pongo barked in a special code. Woof! 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 Yip and yip and yelp and yelp yelp. Fifteen puppies need your help. Calling all hounds, yippers and yappers. Please help us find their cruel kidnappers. The message was passed from dog to dog. It woke up Towser the bloodhound, who lived way out in the country. <clears throat> Growled Towser to Lucy the goose. A message from the city. <laughs> An important one, too. <laughs> I'd better tell the folks on the farm. Old Towser's 
barking woke up a cat named Sergeant Tibbs. Woof! 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 Tibbs told Captain a horse to awaken the sheepdog named Colonel. The Colonel pricked up his ears. Fifteen spotted poodles were stolen. I, I think that's puppies, sir, said Sergeant Tibbs. Tibbs remembered hearing some barking at the old DeVille place. Nonsense! <laughs> that house has been empty for years, said the Colonel. Not any longer, the Captain answered. There's smoke rising from the chimney. Oh, uh, then we'd, we'd better investigate, Tibbs, barked the Colonel. They went to the old house. Sergeant Tibbs slipped inside the house. What a surprise! He saw 99 Dalmatian puppies. Fifteen of them were huddled in front of the TV. They must be the ones, Tibbs said. He raced back to tell the others. The colonel sent a message. Dog by dog, the message was passed.